Hello everyone. In this video, let's see how to calculate mutual fund that is SIP written in Excel. So let's take the real example. For this, I click on this link below. Let me scroll down here. So in the mutual fund, I select LIC mutual fund and then in the scheme I take LIC MF uh, which is direct plan then we have investment amount of 10,000 and SAP frequency will be a monthly and then SAP start date is uh, 1st Jan 2022 and SAP uh, end date is 22-12-31 and I will click on calculate. Now you have the real example here which have the details like investment paid for one year that is uh, for 12 months and then uh, each month you are contributing 10,000 and that's the reason you have sum of 1,20,000 and then total unit purchase is 8000 this i will explain how it is and investment value but after 12 months it is 138000 i will explain you what how it is and nav value as of 31st december 22 is this and latest nav as of uh, uh, friday this is the value so let's look into detail how this mutual fund return is calculated so let me go back to the excel tracker The first we have the month starting from Jan to December and then each month we are investing rupees 10,000 and then we have NAV or purchase price. So uh, based on the company uh, performance uh, the NAV value will be uh, decided and uh, for example now Jan, 20, Jan 3rd the NAV or purchase price is 14 rupees. Likewise, in February it was 15 and March it is 13. So each month, whatever the NAV value beginning of the month we have, we need to copy this and paste it in this Excel. So I have taken the NAV value for each month beginning for the first day and pasted it until Jan to December. And then you have unit purchase. Unit purchase will be uh, is equal to the total investment what you are making on a monthly basis divided by NAV. So it means one NAV is 14. So if you are investing 10,000, you can buy 688.615 units uh, on a monthly basis for January you bought. So February, since the NAV value has increased, the unit price has become uh, 659 likewise in March it was decreased so that is the reason you have unit price is more so it's just that you need to uh, divide the total investment divided by NAV you get the unit price now NAV uh, as of 30 uh, December 30th is 17.1047 so this is what we have here and then total unit purchase so now month on month when we are investing 10,000 you are buying uh, some units this is the sum this is for January and this is for February likewise if I take for entire month so this is the uh, total units purchase that is 8055 to get this number I use just sum function SUM and then I select from Jan to December press enter I get total unit purchase then total value as on 31st December will be very simple is equal to the NAV as on 31st December multiplied by the total unit purchase press enter I get the total investment as on 31st December and then I have the total uh, investment value the investment value will be the sum of uh, uh, from Jan to December what we invested that is 120,000 again I just use the sum function sum and just select from Jan to December press enter I get the total value then the profit profit is very simple so total value investment value as on 31st December minus the total investment what we have done press enter you get the total profit
to get the return it is uh, whatever the profit we made from the investment of 1 lakh 20 thousand press center you get the uh, percentage return it means after we invested for 10,000 across the year so we have a return of 14.82 percent i hope this video is useful and if you like this video please click on like button and do subscribe to my channel thank you